One of the most interesting creatures in the world is the octopus. With three hearts, no bones, and blue blood, this cephalopod is a biologist's playing field. With so many research questions unanswered, you begin to wonder why we don't know more about wild octopuses. Statistically, recapture rates of the common octopus, octopus vulgaris, over a four-year study period was between 3 and 7%. One of the problems with conducting research on the cephalopod species is its low recapture rates. With reason, it's like trying to catch jello. So we, Natalie Aspatia and Holly Dye Clark, students at the University of Florida, studied the recapture methods of the common octopus. We are here today to determine which of the scientifically explored methods is best for octopus vulgaris recaptures. When attempting to recapture octopuses, one method is the Japanese baited pot. An octopus-specific trap constructed in Japan, made of plastic and typically baited with crabs. This trap is placed at the bottom of ocean floors. This device is highly efficient and specific to octopuses at multiple depths. It can also keep the species safe from predators as it is being held captive. Cages should be checked quite frequently, costing money, time, and effort. This method involves posting local flyers and posters around fishing docks and in local areas that are in any way related to marine life. This offers an incentive and drive to locate species, in addition creates a higher search party for the species at different times and locations, further spreading knowledge and awareness of our research, educating the locals on the importance of the resident octopuses and possible tags and marks on them. Although civilian research cannot always be as dependable, the more thorough the flyer's description, the better educated the public can be. The flyers will contain an image of the species, image reference of related traps or markings, followed with a brief description of what to do if the animal is spotted and who to contact. The last method we found to be successful in octopus recaptures during our research involved training commercial fishermen and interested parties on how to measure and record found octopuses. They are first to be trained on how to identify the color code of the visible implant elastometer. Then they are trained to perform weight measurements and are later told to input data such as date, time, weight, depth, latitude, longitude, and the color code of identification information. They are given a scale and a logbook. This method allows researchers to establish their own protocols and rewards are offered as an incentive. Unfortunately, short-term studies like this one increase bias in life history data. When comparing all the methods that we have researched, we have concluded that the best or the most recommended method is a Japanese baited pot method. Now we have Holly here demonstrating a prototype and how to use it. I built this model of the Japanese baited pot in order to give you an idea of how it actually works. Uh, the real one is made of plastic, but I made sure to keep the correct dimensions of the trap to give you an idea of its size. So what I'll do now is I'll trigger this trap by pushing on that string um, and this door should simply close, giving you an idea of how it works um, with your actual specimen. And it's really as simple as that. Um, so the big problem was, with this is that nowhere in any of the papers reviewing JPBs does it, does it actually mention how the trap works. Um, in one paper, they mentioned that they use an octopus trap, but they never mention what model they use or how it works. I think it would be beneficial to include the model name and type so that researchers are able to budget and determine if it's the right trap to use for their experiment overall. We would like to acknowledge all the great resources and assistance utilized to make this project possible. As young research biologists, we wanted to thank you for watching our video today. If you have any suggestions or comments, we would really appreciate some feedback on any factor of this presentation. So please take some time to go ahead and give a comment below.